One of the most remote places on Earth and the wildlife that thrives there is under threat. That's according to conservationists who say the forests of central Gualugo Triangle are being lost at an alarming rate. Well, John Hendren is live now from the Triangle in the Republic of Congo. John, first of all, I've heard you've had quite a journey. Tell us what you've uh, been through just to get to where you are. Well, it's been a multi-day adventure, Sammy. We started out in Brazzaville, the capital of the Republic of the Congo. It's a two-day drive to get up to the nearest village here. And then after that, it's an hour-long drive on unpaved roads. Sometimes you have to clear out trees that have fallen. And then you take a canoe down two different rivers, and when you get to the shore, it is a five-hour hike. Some of that is through waist-high water, and that meant our cameraman, Mike LaBella, ended up pulling, uh, pulling uh, parasites off him as we climbed aboard. I was bitten by fire ants, so it's been a real adventure. But once we got here, this is a, a nature preserve in which endangered chimpanzees and western lowland gorillas are completely protected from hunters, from tourists. Uh, and that is not the case throughout all of Central Africa, where these endangered species live. We spent a while looking at what's going on here in northern Congo with those primates. Take a look. These are the eyes of an endangered bloodline. That's Buka right there. Western lowland gorillas like Buka can relax here in the Republic of the Congo's Mondika Wildlife Preserve, where they're protected from logging and hunters. So it's downtime. Downtime for most of them right now. But since 1988, they've gone from vulnerable to endangered to critically endangered. In the past 60 years, hunting, a dwindling habitat, and Ebola have, by one estimate, slashed their numbers by 80 percent. There are perhaps 100,000 left. Disease has been a major influence in certain areas, not all areas. Hunting is certainly the most uh, dangerous threat to them in their existence right now. But the spread of logging uh, is also having an impact on their environment. Dave Morgan of Chicago's Lincoln Park Zoo has preserved ape habitats in the Republic of the Congo for 16 years. The rest of the group is coming up from behind here. He's helped turn animal hunters into wildlife trackers who now protect their former prey. This is the type of job that I feel good about and I can make a living from it. This is Emily and her first baby, Enos. We have to wear these masks to make sure there's no exchange of disease either way. As you can see, they're habituated. Researchers have spent years making sure that they can be accustomed to human presence. That means that despite the fact that they're threatened by logging, agricultural encroachment, and people hunting them for their meat, they're perfectly comfortable with having us this close. Endangered chimpanzees have the intelligence to craft their own tools to turn a termite mound into a meal. But even they have no defense against a dwindling habitat. There were as many as a million 50 years ago, and as few as 170,000 today. Chimps are more territorial than gorillas, and less likely to survive a forced move. What happens with logging is that you effectively then force one to just be displaced right on top of the other. And so once you get two communities going together, um, then you, know, you really do see uh, chimpanzee carnage. To protect chimps and gorillas, researchers spend years getting to know them through daily contact. And that can be terrifying. The silverback will start charging. Charging you. Charging the trackers and ourselves. It's risky. I mean, people do get bitten. It's stressful. But in the end, we think it's really important to have a couple groups like Buka here um, habituated so we can learn more about them and educate people about them. In persuading people to preserve the vanishing habitats of Central Africa's endangered great apes may be best hope for future generations like Enos. We're back here at the Gulogo Triangle. I'm with Dave Morgan. You saw him in that story. He's with the Lincoln Park Zoo. And let me just ask you for starters, uh, today you walked us around. We saw chimpanzees. We saw gorillas here. But why do your research here? Why not do it from the comfort of the Lincoln Park Zoo in Chicago? Well, if you want to know about chimpanzees and gorillas and their behavior, what better place than the Gulogo Triangle? Um, my wife and I, Cricket, are inspired by these forests. They're intact. Uh, we've got a great Congolese team that makes it possible, 
and the ape inhabitants. The chimpanzees and the gorillas in this area have proven in the last 16 years they're really unique and special. And so that's why we're investing all, in all this time and effort into studying them here. So after spending 16 years studying what's going on here with the primates, what have you found out? Well, we found that there's still a lot to be learned about both species. Uh, chimpanzees here in the Gulaga Triangle, they have a complex toolkit that they'll use for obtaining termites, ants, and honey. So in multiple different circumstances, they've got tools that they'll take to those mounds or those hives and retract what they're after. Uh, very special behavior. The other aspect is the coexistence of chimps and gorillas, that they do interact with each other, they don't avoid each other which was previously thought before this research started. And these are things that haven't necessarily been observed in other places because this is such a special place. Let me ask you, what are the biggest threats right now to these critically endangered western lowland gorillas and the endangered chimpanzees? Most importantly, we know that hunting, the direct killing of chimpanzees and gorillas, is a threat in most regions outside of national parks in Central Africa. The other is habitat loss, habitat fragmentation. Um, mechanized logging that doesn't use reduced procedures or certification processes uh, is having a detrimental impact and that's what we're trying to get at in terms of understanding what might happen when that occurs. Well, that's the view here from the Lincoln, uh, from, from the Gulogo Triangle, where Dave Morgan of the Lincoln Park Zoo has been walking us through. It's been a real adventure seeing chimpanzees and gorillas in their natural habitat, a place where humans are not allowed except for researchers. Back to you. Thanks so much, uh, John. Fascinating journey. I hope you're, you, I'm sure you've got more stories, and I hope you're going to tweet them for people, too. John Hendren there. Well, stay with us.